Well, make a wish, everybody. Congress did a thing. Did you hear? In these divisive times, they cast aside their partisan differences and came together and passed a new bill. Isn't that exciting? You're like, oh, what does this bill do? Does it address the wanton murder of school children, the utterly broken health care system, the unlivable housing crisis, or the impending death of planet Earth? <laughs> no, you idiot. Why would it do any of that? No, they banned TikTok. Woo! Yeah, yeah, I guess Congress came together and said rather than address any of the myriad soul-crushing issues facing our country's youth, they would instead take away one of the only things they still have the capacity to enjoy. It's like as a father, if you let your house fall into disrepair and your kids come up to you like, Dad, are you going to fix the roof or the heat or the plumbing? You're like, nah, I really ain't got time for all that shit. But I tell you what I did do, threw your PlayStation off a fucking bridge. <laughs> These mother... And look, they're not banning tiktok outright yet they're trying to make china sell it and if they don't then they'll ban it but whatever same difference why are they banning it well they say china uses tiktok to spy on us yeah i'd hate to be the chinese guys who draw that assignment by the way commander walks in like lee what are the americans up to uh looks like they're mostly watching cats slap each other and white kids try to dance sir carry on Right. And I know they mean our, our data, and it is a real thing. It's been a real thing. They're all spying on us. They always have been. We know that, dude. Like, you you send your wife a text message about trying to lose weight, and then the next time you get on Facebook, you're slapped in the face with an ad. It's like, guess what, fat ass? We got half off quasi-legal trucker myth at this here dubious website. And you're like, how does my phone know everything? Because they're spying on us. And they have been. Not just TikTok, but it ain't just the spying part. They also say it's propaganda. China could use TikTok to radicalize Americans. Well, I'd hate for Americans to be radicalized by social media. As an aside, I have two twain boys who love YouTube, and I live every day in fear of them walking up to me like, Dad, did you know the literature suggests that women prefer to be in the kitchen? Right? It's a real thing. And it's not just the youngins. We all got an Aunt Tammy who fell down a Facebook rabbit hole and come out believing Tom Hanks was a vampire or whatever. Like, propaganda is a problem across all of them, not just tick. It's like the powers that be, their stance on this whole thing is like, listen, the only people that's going to spy on and indoctrinate American citizens are American billionaires, by God. And I just don't get it. I'm sure with TikTok, it is the China thing. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that most of the political discourse on TikTok recently has been focused on denouncing the genocide in Gaza. I'm sure that's totally unrelated. Also, what are the Democrats doing here? Because TikTok is mostly young people. And, and they're helping Republicans get rid of it in an election year? What? It's like Biden and the Democrats are like, you know what we don't need in 2024? our finger on the pulse of the American youth and try to direct line to a critical voting block? No, thank you. I say we just trust the Republicans on this one. I don't think they'd lie to us. It's ridiculous, but also very on brand though. And listen, I'm not saying do nothing about any of this. I'm saying address the larger issues, you know, data privacy laws that apply to all of them. You know, monitor all of these tech giants, hold them all accountable, substantive things. But now that I say that out loud, it sounds difficult, useful, and like it may adversely impact a few critical campaign donors. So I don't know why I even brought it up. Love y'all. Listen, YouTube, it is an election year, and that makes it more critical than ever to stay on top of the media you are consuming, know where it's coming from, and know what it really says. That's why I want to tell y'all about this video sponsor, Ground News. Ground News is a startup and service that aims to combat bias in the media by adding context and transparency to your news coverage. Let me show you how it works. Well, here we are on Ground News' website. We're specifically in their section that covers the upcoming presidential election. You see up top, you got a countdown there, 236 days. Y'all, that's going to fly by. And we got all the election news that's it's fit to print here, and it starts with this great feature that I love, the blind spot feature that shows you articles that are not being covered on either side of the political spectrum. On the right, the right's not talking about Biden's impeachment case unraveling before their very eyes, and the left is not talking about Biden's not seeing a bump in polling after the State of the Union. Now, you know, you can see why either side might not cover those stories, but the blind spot feature is great because it shows you some insight into the other side of the spectrum at any given time. Below that, they've got all the latest election news for you. I'm looking specifically for this is the story i talked about china warns that a proposed tiktok ban will come back to bite the u.s right? and if you want to check all this out yourself you go to ground.news slash tray and try it out now but i'll show you the features here so you get to each article's page and you can see a summary breakdown up top you got coverage details a bias distribution and i like looking at the differences in the articles based on the uh, their bias or degree of factuality, right? Like this one's high factuality leans left, mixed factuality leans right. That's odd, right? We'll compare the headlines too. The one with high factuality, it just says China's reaction after TikTok decision, bullying will backfire on the U.S. In quotes, the leans right 
outlet, a little more incendiary headline, TikTok's opponents want Chinese-style censorship in America. So without even clicking on these, you can see the differences in how news is presented based on the biases present there. And that's the kind of detail and in, in, insight you're not going to get from anywhere else but ground news. It's 2024, y'all, most important election year of any of our lifetimes. You need to push back on the bias in the media, and you need to try ground news now. So if you like the sound of that, click the link in the description below to push back on the bias and BS and get some context and transparency in your media life. Through that link, you can get 40% off their highest tier Vantage program. Now's the time, baby. Upgrade your media existence. Try ground news today. All right, y'all, another interesting element of this TikTok thing that I didn't have time to cover in the first part of this is Trump has flip-flopped. Remember during the Trump administration, he tried to shut down TikTok for, you know, China reasons, right? But now he's flip-flopped on it. I know it's like, oh, you mean Trump has a lack of integrity? That's wild, but is there more context here? Turns out there is. Trump, six days before flip-flopping on TikTok, Trump had a big meeting, a big sit-down with a a Pennsylvania billionaire named Jeff Yass. Yass, Queen. I don't. That's, I shouldn't have done that, but that's his name. Who happens to own a sizable chunk of TikTok's parent company. He has like a 7% stake in TikTok. Trump meets with him and six days later reverses his course on his entire philosophy about TikTok and now says that it should not be banned. What that effectively means is that this the Republican nominee for president is up for sale he also because he owes a lot of people money as you may or may not have seen lately <laughs> right he had a, he had a, a 90 something million dollar chunk due recently so he had to take out a bond from chubb insurance chubb insurance has financial ties to putin and russia by the way now that any of this is surprising but yes donald trump who could end up in the white house again is officially for sale and open to all buyers so Welcome to the hellscape, baby. What are you going to do? Listen, thank y'all for watching. Once again, I appreciate it. Appreciate you putting up with me. Here's what you can do. Click the, uh, click this box right here. That's my special damn boy. Click this one to subscribe to the channel. It might be this one. And then, uh, go to the other one. It takes you to treycrowder.com where you can see tour, tour dates to come see me do stand up comedy live. That's what I really do. Come and see me if I'm coming near you. Most importantly, you keep watching these silly things and I'll keep making them. Love you. Bye.